most of my adult life, I was with Mike Rinder. And in 2007, he went uh, to the UK. He went off to England for a work-related trip, and he didn't return on the day he was expected, and I didn't hear anything from him at all, and um, tried to contact him because he didn't show up and couldn't find him. So I, of course, was concerned that something had happened to him or he was sick or something like that. And then days went by, didn't know where he was, didn't hear anything. And ultimately, like within the next week, he made contact with another person who's an associate of mine, but like not a family member or friend, even close friend, to inform them that he wasn't coming back and that he had left. There was no direct call, phone call to me. He could have picked up the phone and called me easily or an email directly to me or any communication to me or anything. It was just, I think the email was literally three lines long. Like there was nothing in it other than I'm leaving. Do you want, you know, ask Kathy if she wants to come, send me my stuff. When we did finally get to see Mike, despite what he was purporting that he wanted to be in communication with us and that we were not communicating, when it was him that was not communicating, he was not happy to see us. The look on his face became one of hatred. It was really strange and like, wow, what's happening here? He was not happy to see us. All of a sudden, it was like he turned animal. Like, he suddenly, like, in, it was in a split second, and it, because it was, so, it was shocking to me. In a split second, he suddenly changed and was, like, started growling at me. <clears throat> at the same time, he grabbed my arms and crisscrossed them in front of me and had his thumbs stuck particularly in my right forearm and had his car keys. And he's quite large compared to me, and his hands absolutely engulf my arm, and he's very strong. And my instinct was to move, and it's every time I tried to move, Mike tightened. <clears throat> Mike tightened the grip every time I tried to move, and then was pushing my, pulling my arms down as if to sort of push them against my body so I also couldn't move my legs. And I was screaming to stop. And he put his face right up against me, and he was like this, like, er, like this, like, and he stuck his eyes right up to my eyes, and he was so hateful. It was like evil, vicious, and it was as if he wa was letting it all out all of a sudden, what he really always probably felt, and wanted to make sure that I got how much he hated me, and he wanted to hurt me. I really couldn't move my arm after that for quite some time. Had extensive physical therapy for like two years, which slowly I was able to regain movement, starting with my hand and working up my arm. And at this point in time, I am in pain every day. It goes in degrees from worst to best, and I... Still, I'm doing various handlings on it every day so that I keep the circulation going and so I don't have as much pain. But I won't apparently regain full use of my shoulder or that arm. So I'm what they term functional. The true Mike Rinder is the one that when his own child, his brother, and his wife come with graciously to meet with him to communicate he turned on me and turned into a wild animal and attacked me and permanently damaged my shoulder and my arm, tried to hurt his brother, then takes his girlfriend to break into his own mother's residence to pawn through her stuff for whatever reason I don't even know, photograph it, and even give that data to the press is so unbelievable and so not normal. It's that Mike Rinder. That is part of Mike's modus operandi. That is what his appearance is, and under that, there's some other agenda and some other way. He's thinking 
how he's going to get you, how this is, as long as it benefits him, then that's the way it is. He'll say, he'll do anything. It benefits him. He doesn't care. He doesn't care about his own mother. He is obviously making up stories and lying beyond anything you could ever imagine to the point where he's weaving a web of delusion and has convinced himself of this too. It's like someone you find in an institution that's living in their old world when the real world actually, the facts are so totally different, you can't even imagine how did they come up with this. That's Mike Rinder.